I don't want to be up 40 years anyway, so that's over 40 years I've been up now. So I think they've served their purpose, served their time. Flats are great because when your pals are in the same flats, so you didn't need to move far to, to get to your pals. And the next side of the flat was always more pals, you'd go and make dens and... It was good, it was great. It was a great place at the time, and that's a wee bit different. Once the scheme's done, hopefully it's get built back up to a better standard than it is just now. And back to normal, it was 20, 25 years ago when I initially came here. I like to push a button and I would kind of be disappointed that I'm pushing the button because that would be the last memories of have a Hall. It'd be quite heart ripping to be honest with you. Right, drop a heart at me. But I like to push a button just to see the, not see the blast, but see the actual what's going to happen in the years to come and how it's going to be. And hope, hopefully it's a better place, I say. I first moved to Sighthill in 1977. Came here after living in Calton in the East End of the city. They were pulling everything down, so people were being dispersed to the schemes, the peripheral schemes, or this was the alternative for us. Had never heard of the place, and it was like a completely different world. There was more a sense of community if you were a child, I think, because you know, you went to school in the area and you would get to know, therefore, a lot of other kids your age. I'd get to know maybe their mums and dads through going to their houses. Um, at that point as well, there was still a supermarket in the area, so obviously all, you know, the women in the area would go there to do their weekly shop. There was a really good butcher's. I used to really look forward to going to the butcher's with my mum on a Friday, because it was a really good laugh <laughs> listening to the patter. things probably started to decline when you get into the 80s. Um, for me, a pivotal moment was, and it seemed as if it almost happened overnight, round about 82, being 16, and heroin becoming really commonplace, and, and folk coming into the scheme who were drug dealers, and you know your mates and things like that getting involved in it, people getting ill because of it, and then gradually a lot of the old people were dying as well. Um, or moving away into care homes, and they were being replaced, I have to say, with people that were single-person households. A lot of unemployment as well. Earlier, at one point in the morning, there was no point in waiting in the lift because they were so busy with folk going to work. And then, you know, by the 80s, that was not the case. So people were coming and going. It was a very much a, a transient community. So I think what happened was you ended up with an estate that became very much a sink estate, and that's the way it was looked at by the council. For me, it became crucial to move out of Sight Hill once I became a parent. Before that, it was somewhere to put my head. I knew everybody. I knew the good people, I knew the bad people, um, and I was quite streetwise. But the thought of bringing a child up here was not something that I relished at all. You know, we had issues with drug addicts in the block, um, going out into the landing, and there was people in the landing hitting up. And it just wasn't somewhere that I wanted to bring up a child. So for me, you know, the main goal in life was finish uni and get a house elsewhere to get him out. I've got mixed feelings about the buildings coming down. I'll be sad, but I'll, in essence, I'll be really, really happy as well. Um, I don't think the buildings have been well maintained. I think they're an eyesore. Even when Sight Hill was fully occupied, you could walk across some parts of the estate and not see anybody and it'd be a really, really creepy place. Kids will always find something good to do with an environment and something positive about it. But I think you start to see things differently 
as you grow older and you start to have aspirations. And I don't think Sight Hill is a very aspirational place. I think you can feel quite trapped by it. The people of Sight Hill remember it as it was, high-rise flats, we had underfloor heating and we had double glazing and that was in the early 70s. And we thought, wow, I'm living in this fantastic house. Um, we didn't think about the dampness or the wind coming through, gaps or anything then. Just a pity there was no investment put in Sight Hill when the council had the, the housing stock. Um, it's just, it's crumbling away. I did see in the high-rise flats that my three kids were born and getting blown up and it was very, very sad. But then again, when you think of the regeneration of the area um, and what they could do in this area, what kind of housing they could do, um, and bring it back again to the way it was in the late 60s, early, to, early 70s, and I would come back. But until then, I've done my time. I've done 39 years, and I think that's long enough. Sight Hills, where I had the best times of my life, and the worst. But it's in your blood, and end of the belongs here, who stayed here way back then, I'll always say that. There's something special about Sight Hill. And I know it's got bad press and I know there's a lot of bad people here, um, but there are a lot of good people as well.